Hi, I'm Jan Delta, we at Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about increment, the pause increment and the pre-increment. And this is our lecture number 12. Let's proceed. So I've already created the folder lecture 12 and it is also the name and the solution name. And right now, we're going to click on the source files folder under the lecture number 12, and then right click, point to add, then click new item. Then you're going to click the CPP file, and under the name below, we can uh, rename the source that CPP into sandata underscore comprog2 underscore lecture 12 then we can click add shown right here then we can point to 200 as magnification then let's do the code so we have the head which starts with pound include or sharp include delimiter io stream then we have using namespace CD. then we have the neck integer main and then we have the body so the first one is the declaration base which we put integer and then um, bilang and then we have the initialization Base. then we put bilang is equals to 3 and then after that we have the processing base and in the processing base we have uh, C out bilang we're going to display and then after we print on the screen, this is what you call printing on the screen. And uh, it has an output of 3. So we have C out bilang plus plus. So this one is a pause increment. Okay. So this is what they called a pause increment. So pause increment in the theory we have here is that it contains three and that is what we put plus plus. Okay, so this one is three because we initialize it. And the plus plus code is increment and it will result to arithmetic computation as three plus one is equals to the variable n okay so that's the idea and 3 plus 1 is equals to 4 so let's encapsulate so that you can clearly understand and that is uh, what you call the uh, pause increment now let's continue we need to display the output as bilang and line so this is uh, printing okay on the screen and the result is 4 so what I'm going to do is to copy paste this so to make it more faster and then we're going to paste it right here and pause increment and the first one is pause increment and right now we're going to make the uh, pre-increment right here so I'm going to replace this instead of pause where I'm going to pre then this one I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to paste it at the beginning of uh, variable bilang and this is what you call the pre-increment okay that is the difference between the two now the 
the formula for that is we're going to reverse it is only plus 3 so that is the result and uh, in terms of arithmetic computation this kind of uh, code and the result is also 4 okay so you will notice that we initialize again because the result of bilang is 4 on the post increment and if we are not uh, declaring it again uh, initialize from phase 2 of initialization then this is considered to be 4 added by 1 that is the output is 5 so to understand clearly we're going to put it back to its original uh, content so let's uh, type here the termination phase and that is return 0 all of the output will be going back to integer main that is the meaning of return 0 okay so uh, let's click debug and start without debugging to check the output of this and we have here the output so we have 3 3 4 and we have 3 4 and 4 so that's all for today thank you and good luck